Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to add the three zero accounts that you really need to be adding into your chart of accounts. So the chart of accounts is really an accounting phrase, which just means all of those income and expense accounts that you see when you're doing your bank reconciliation in zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do those three and I'm using the demo company in zero. Now, if you're ever not sure how to do something in zero, jump in and find the demo company. If you have a zero account, everyone has access and it's really useful to play around and practice things. Okay. So where I went then was accounting down to chart of accounts. And this is the view that you're going to get. Now what I'd recommend is I'd actually go straight to this tab here and go to expenses because when you're picking a number, you don't really want to be just picking any random number kind of want to pick one consistent with what you've got in there. So I'd go to expenses. So we're adding three expense accounts. Okay. Now you can see here, there's 300. These are what we call direct costs, which you can have here. These are directly correlated with the earning of income. Our general expenses will all just be an expense. So we're going to add one direct cost and two expenses. The first one we're going to add is our direct cost, which is uh, reimbursable client expenses. So whenever you've paid for something on behalf of a client, um, so example might be if you were a web developer, you may have purchased a domain name on behalf of a client and you want to recover that cost. So this is really valuable because it actually helps you keep track of everything. Uh, so you know that you haven't missed things because there's nothing worse than getting to the end of the year and finding out that actually that project you did six, eight months ago, you incurred all of these expenses and you forgot to bill them and now it's too late to go back and recover them. Okay, so client is reimbursed. Okay, we'll leave that with GST there. Now this is one of those ones where you might want to add it to your dashboard watch list. Okay, so that's here. The next one we're going to add, because this chart of accounts have been fixed for quite a while, so Xero hasn't done a huge amount of updating on what the default chart of accounts is, there aren't anything specifically around software as a service. So I can see my general expenses are all in the 400s, so let's try 480. Yep, that's available, so software as a service. Now, the key thing here is I'm going to actually create two of these. Um, one is going to be for business critical software. So we're looking at your zero subscription, probably G Suite, things that you have to use um, to actually do your job. Okay. Um, so what are we going to call that? Let's call this crit. Okay. Now, a common mistake, so here's just a little tip that we see people making, is a lot of software, it's hard to actually get the GST on it right, because if it's software that you are, so for example, purchasing from Australia, so if it's zero software, it's going to have GST on expenses. If, for example, uh, it's Adobe, that's a US based company, you're paying it in USD. It's actually GST free expenses. Software as a service. Useful. Software. Okay. Now, the reason why we want to be tracking those separately is software is increasingly becoming a huge expense in businesses. So what we want to do is be able to go, okay, what do you actually need to use to run your business? And what is those subscriptions that you've started that you're not really using anymore, or you started as a trial and you forgot to unsubscribe? This is a huge one where you can actually save a lot of money by going through and actually reviewing what you've put in there. And you'll be surprised how much you're actually putting in here. Eventually the goal is to really once you've defined what your systems are, you're going to see more and more moving up here into critical systems, and you're going to be really reducing the amount of just random useful bits.